My name is Daniel Schulman. I'm the executive director of the Stanley and Evelyn Statzinger Cohn Foundation. I met Evelyn in the late 1990s. I had admired her as an artist and became friends with her and her husband. Uh, Stan was a physicist and he and Evelyn were very close partners throughout their lives. Evelyn was born in New York in 1927. She went to the High School of Music and Art in Manhattan, where her family moved in the later 1930s or early 1940s. Evelyn was always interested in art and poetry and drew and wrote poems at a, you know, from a very early age. When she arrived in Chicago in uh, 1946, she studied at the Art Institute with the legendary teacher Kathleen Blackshear. And very early in her career, she is associated with the Monster Roster. But because of her resistance to labeling, she was respected as an artist's artist, someone without compromise. Evelyn was committed to a kind of pursuit of formal integrity, pursuit of uh, one's own vision. She had a kind of solitary approach to making art. She was meticulous and fastidious and a slow worker. She painted in a laborious style where she really built up paintings uh, from brushstroke slowly, methodically, and meticulously. She was always an extremely attentive and an acute observer of nature. The natural world was what inspired her. The paintings of the 1980s and the 1990s are really uh, connected to a place, connected to Evelyn and Stan's summer place in Allegan, Michigan. They purchased a defunct one-room schoolhouse and spent about five months every year in Michigan, away from Chicago. I think some of the eccentric palette of those uh, works from Allegan, a kind of um, sandy dunes, uh, Midwestern landscape, but there's a visionary quality to these works as well. Uh, a kind of sense of getting into the DNA of nature and the DNA of nature matching the DNA of art in a kind of poetic way. She wrote, these scientists don't know what they'll find next. One problem raises another and they just keep exploring. That's the artist's way too, or mine at least. What difference does it make? What school you work in? Who cares if you do something new or obsolete? Who cares if it lasts? I haven't explored enough to know if I'm in any tradition at all. I only know I'm alive today.